Yo, what is up everyone? Welcome back to Get Jacked here on Ark Survival Evolved. Now, check it out. We're out in the tundra at our tundra base. And what we're going to be doing today is we're going to be going out. We're going to be getting us the Dunkleosteus. Now, this is the new water dinosaur. He's kind of like a oil and stone gatherer. But, as you can see, we're walking through a new area. I kind of added this on to match with the rest of our tundra build here. Because you guys seem to like that, so I want to keep going with this one. It's it's a really fun build to go with. Really costly, but it's worth it. Um, but basically, we're going to be taking out the Mazasaur and the Plesio to help us with this tame. Because we want to be able to be protected out there. Because the ocean is really dangerous in Ark. Kind of because it's really glitchy, but also because the dinosaurs out there are really strong. So, as we can see... Last episode, we got this bad boy. Oh my god, is this an awesome dinosaur, or mammal, I guess. Uh, it's really cool to use. So, what we need to start out with here is, we've got a nice source of prime right here. We just have to find us a couple baby penguins, and we're gonna have to murder them. But basically, I've added a refrigerator onto the Mazasaurus platform saddle, so I can bring some prime. I do have some Titan Boa Kibble because our main base is in the swamp. So we do get that just passively. Alright, come here, you little baby. Sorry I have to do this to you. Oh, what the heck? Hey, what is this? Oh, why does this have to happen? He's just glitching out. He's just going crazy. I can't even drag him out of this. Dang it, I can't harvest from this one. Alright, I gotta find another one. Alright, so, here we go. This one, oh, don't... Oh, they can get lost in the snow. Alright, so this is a decent amount of prime. I don't think it's going to take more than this. I do have four of that Titan Boa Kibble, and then eight prime on top of that. I don't I don't think that should be an issue. We're not looking for, like, a 120 here. So, let's go in here. I do have to grab out of our barren refrigerator. Oh my gosh, give me some stamina. Alright, so my refrigerator out here is just empty. We've got the kibble that I brought back from the other base because... We don't really have a use for it out here. So, let's bring this out. And we're just going to pack all this into the Mazasaur. And we'll be all set to go. So, let's see here. Let's get us a little bit closer. Alright, so basically I did add a generator all fueled up. It's got the refrigerator and we're all set there. So, let's just add this in here. If I can glitch my way over to it. Add all this prime in. Now... It does make a difference going from a dinosaur to a refrigerator because if you put it in your dinosaur, it'll last what? If you're lucky, 10 minutes or so. And in a refrigerator, it lasts like two hours. So you don't have to worry about anything. You can just pop one out, throw it in. All right, so here we go. All right, so I've been swimming around for a bit. There actually are quite a few of them out here, but I saw a lot of them spawning at level like four and eight. Oh, we're on the edge of the world here. But I was able to track down one, and it is level, I believe it was 40? Let's let's double check. So let's put these guys on the surface. I don't even have to, I don't want to have to worry about them getting caught up on sharks and stuff. We'll, we'll go at it just alone for now, and then see how that goes. So let's head down here, and let's just double check. There he is right there. I don't know how high up they can come, but I do know that they will attack you. I went up to him before, and he got really pissed off at me. Alright, so we cannot use this. We're going to have to switch over to the crossbow. Okay, Ithy, are you going to cause me troubles? Just make sure that they're all set. I'm really scared about them being left alone for too long. Oh, jeez, what is this noise? Alright, so the crossbow is a really weird noise. I haven't used it. I usually use darts. Why is it so odd? I don't know. Okay, so let's drag him. What are you? No, no, stop following me. Alright, go away, dude. Where did he go? Is he on me? No, he, alright, he's right there. So, I do want to see how far we can pull him up to the surface, because with plesios and stuff like that, you can't pull them all the way up. There is, like, a layer, and with megalodons, you don't have to worry about that layer, but I'm not sure about these guys, so let's just follow him. So, basically... Okay, so you are coming at me, cool. Alright, so follow me, buddy. We're just gonna backpedal it up. Oh, oh man. Ooh, I'm not sure how much he hits because my health has disappeared again. Like, jeez, always. Alright, so... 
Let's just keep nailing him. So it looks like he attacks and then he backs off, which is like similar to the anglerfish. They'll come attack you like three or four times and then just run away. So let's see here. Are you gonna follow me all the way to the surface? Come on. Oh no, he turns around. See, that's about yeah, that's about the layer that you can't get plesios over either. So let's keep just railing on him. He seems to be dipping away from us at the moment. And look at how cool he looks. He almost looks like the Chinese, you know, dragons and stuff like that. Used in like parades and whatnot. I think, oh yeah, definitely cool. All right, now are you gonna? Now I do know that uh, the topor on these is really high, so we're gonna need quite a few darts. Now this is a, a upgraded crossbow, not not an upgraded one, but it is like journeyman, I think. So it is dealing a decent amount of topor. I do wish I could have brought him to a cave, so I could use the darts. But what are you gonna do? Oh man, get out of the way, Ithy. This thing's just gonna follow me or icky or whatever the heck you call these things this is gonna follow me around everywhere alright man you're gonna go down anytime soon this is gonna take quite a few arrows I think but this seems to work pretty well he just seems too slow to be able to catch up to me at this point alright so the Ithy is still following us around. It seems like, yeah, he just gets a couple hits off, and then he's cool with just swimming away. I think it might be a little bit more useful to bring the Plesio, because it's, it's getting really hard for me to follow this guy. I don't know how many tranks it's actually going to take. Let me see here. I, it's, I'm just lucky I cleared out this area of sharks and stuff like that, because this would usually... This distance would just attract hundreds of sharks, unfortunately. And they just follow you for miles away. It's horrible. So, uh, oh, speak. Okay. You know, oh, jeez. I see one down there. I hope it doesn't be. Oh, it's not attracted us because it's definitely gonna cause issues. All right. So that uh, megalodon, yeah, definitely caused some issues. I wasn't able to get rid of it. I had to swim all the way back to our plesio and have them destroy it. So I went back, got a couple more sets of flippers and whatnot, just in case, and continue in this tame. It's the same one, so I was able to just keep going with it. I was able to just swim back quickly, so hopefully we'll be able to inflict just enough topor damage onto this thing. I've been hitting it quite a bit, so basically what I'm doing now is I found it a little bit easier because he would hit me and kind of damage my armor a bit, I found it to be a little bit easier to actually just let him come back and attack my dinosaurs and then I can effectively hit him while he's attacking them because he's not gonna hurt these guys they have like over I know the Mazasaur has over 6k health so he's not gonna kill him so we'll just have him go on to him and if we can swim out of this glitchy house Oh jeez, oh jeez. Yep, we made it. Oh, no, oh yeah, we did. Okay, perfect. So, we just continue to shoot him like so, and hopefully we can get this guy down, because I do have all the kibble and everything all set. This is a nice cleared out area. I think it would be nice and safe. So hopefully something doesn't happen where we have to get a new one. And look at the bite. Oh my god, the bite. His mouth. Oh my, oh jeez. He is scary. I would not want to run into this thing. It looks like he's got some razor, razor sharp teeth on him. All right. Can we knock him out anytime soon? So now he's running away. So we just kind of rail on him. Oh man, it's just gonna be a whole video of shooting this guy. So many tranks are gonna go into. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no no. Go away. Not again. <laughs> we stayed, or I stayed close to my uh, guy. Oh, he's actually faster than the shark. Stayed close to these guys, so I didn't have to worry about this happening. So let's throw you on. Yeah, just just stay there, and hopefully we can separate the herd. Is this gonna happen? Are we gonna be able to do this? I don't. <laughs> oh, jeez. Come 
Can we separate all of these? I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to. Oh, there we go. Maybe he'll run away. We'll we'll wait till he's in his uh, like runaway stages, and then we'll just kill this stuff and continue on. See, this is the problem though with taming stuff out in the open underwater. I usually like to go with the caves, but this is just this is just okay. Now he's running. He's he's not interested anymore. Let's kill these quick. Yeah, please, yeah, just stay on passive there for me. All right, let's get in a better position to kill this one. Jeez, this is such a pain. I wonder if he'll, if he'll actually aggro back to me now. All right, so let's get a little bit closer. And oh yeah, he is coming back. He's still pissed. Cool, perfect. Thanks for uh, being a little bit considerate during that time. Because I really didn't want to have to kill this. Oh my god, get out. I didn't want to have to kill this. Oh, jeez. Alright, so perfect. Where are you at? Let's continue to shoot him. This looks like a nice area. We've got a cliff blocking us on that side. If he goes down anytime soon, that would be great. <laughs> As he just bites at our mazas. I'm sorry that I have to do this to you, man. I know this has to hurt. My poor Mazasaur. Oh, you get a little bit of it, please, yo, but he seems to like the Mazasaur more. Look at those teeth. I need to regen a little bit. Okay, just keep shooting him. Oh, he's down. Perfect, he's down. Alright, so there we have it. He is down. Yes, awesome. Okay, so check out the Topor. That is why it took him so long to go down. He's got a really high, really high amount of Topor. So let's see here. Let's move on. Let's get our kibble going for this guy. And it kind of really stinks that it takes the Titan Boa kibble as well because that stuff is already super rare. Trying to get it for your Gigantopithecus. But holy crap. Having to use it for these guys as well, I guess you won't... Hopefully we won't need too much. If that thing comes at us, I do have some projectiles in this thing. We've got some bullets all set. Nah, it's really not that useful for water dinosaurs. Okay, so let's glitch into our refrigerator. And we've got our kibble going. Let's see how much, how far this is going to go at least. It is only four. So let's see. He is only level 40 though, so I, I, wanna, I don't know how much kibble it could take. So let's see here. Alright, so I zoomed a bit forward, and he's just about to eat it here. Okay, come on. Eat it. Eat it, eat it, eat it. There it is. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Not bad at all. This four actually might make it perfectly. Here he is, almost done. Alright, and here he is, fully done. It wasn't too bad of a team at all. I actually didn't have to use any narcotics. It only took the four kibble... Actually, I didn't have to use any prime, any meat, anything like that. So he tamed out at 59. So we got 19 levels, a perfect, perfect level 40 tame, which is nothing to brag about. But it is a pretty sweet dinosaur and a really cool one to add to our arsenal of water ones. So let's see here. If I break this, how much am I going to get? Oh, boy. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got 101 stone and... Okay, so that's definitely a huge upgrade on the stone. And probably like, I don't know, double what I would get with a really, with a normal pick or something like that. I don't know. Pretty close to double. I think I would normally get like 35 to 40 or so. Let's see here. Can he gather pearls? Oh my gosh. If we didn't have to get off our, oh, oh no. Too bad. You really can't break through that, that clam or that oyster. Oh man. Alright, so let's see here. Let's swim over to the... Oh, that's it. It's over. That's as far as you can go. Look at that bite. Oh, man, that's so cool. Look at his mouth open. That saddle looks really uncomfortable, though, in his mouth. Alright, so let's crawl our way over to here. See if we have enough stamina to make it. And, yeah. 88 oil, not bad at all. Like, if you could actually get this guy to oil without having to, you know, go crazy with going super slow, 
it would be all right. So let's see here. Just to compare it, I'll I'll cut this one down with the pick, and let's see how much we get from this. All right, so 50 even. I, I think that's a little bit higher than I normally get, but yeah, about double with him. I think with a high level one, or I should be boosting his melee damage, but we need some move speed, otherwise he's just going to be totally useless. So just check out how slow he is. I mean, he should just have a higher stamina pool or something for being this slow, but he's, he's like got, I don't know, he's got both bad ends because he's got a low stamina pool, a low regen, and... Low speed. All right, so let's head back to base, get him back all safe and sound, and see how long that takes. All right, so I finally made it back to base. It was pretty far because I wanted to stay out of the tundra for a tame like that. So we're going to make our way slowly into his parking spot. All right, so let's get onto the dock here. And that's that. We made it home, and we've got a new dinosaur. Let's see here. You fit right here? That work? All right. Oh, we're inside of him now. Okay, so let's head back inside here and get all safe and sound. I parked the Plesio and Mazasaur in the other pool of water over there, but this guy is super cool. I think I think he needs a paint job. I think this one would be a dinosaur that would have a really cool way to paint. I think he could turn out really cool. All right, and there we are. So we went out. We got our new dinosaur. We are all set. It wasn't too terrible. Really, you have to worry about those wild dinosaurs out in the in the water because that's really the hardest part when you're taming anything like this. But thanks a lot for sticking in and watching the video. If you liked it, please hit that thumbs up or subscribe to the channel for more content. Otherwise, thanks a ton for sticking in and checking it out. Have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you next time.